stars are all watching you shining brighter than them somehow days have all faded and there's no more waiting for this right now you're here here in my in all Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8 and it reads love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Your hand here in my in all. Here we are today because you have decided to get married. Now, Faith, I want you to remember the command in scriptures that tells you, wives, be subject or submit to your husbands. Uh, you must submit to Robert as the head of your relationship. Submission does not merely refer to your outward behavior, but importantly, it refers to your attitude. And that, is, that should be gentle and quiet. It will not be a walk in the park, but by God's grace, you can do it. Now therefore, Robert, please keep in mind what the Apostle Peter wrote in 1 Peter 3.7. Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers will not be hindered. So if for faith, it is submission, for you, Robert, it is understanding your wife by going the extra mile. You need to exert effort, for it is not easy for you to understand women. No? Uh, it's not easy no, to decipher. You have to go the extra mile to understand faith. Now, as you're going to get married, there are three essential elements to enjoy your marriage for a lifetime. The first is commitment. Yan. And commitment is easy when you're having fun, you're happy. But it's very difficult when in times of conflict and trials for the both of you. Today, God is giving you a gift and that is your spouse. God brought the two of you together not only to be happy, but to, hope to be holy and sanctified. In your marriage, you will always be tested. No conflicts. Are bound to happen it's not an if it's a when these conflicts will be used by God to refine each of your character and to mold you together as one to make you better followers of the Lord Jesus Christ and to make you a better couple I want you to look at this 
to look at them or rather yung conflicts as opportunities for you to grow rather than get out of marriage no getting out of marriage is not an option the best time for you to get out of marriage was yesterday <laughs> the fact na nandito kayo ngayon means that you are committed yan yun yung Uh, emphasis natin that you are committed into this relationship in a lifetime. So remember the word, commitment. And when the time comes that you get disappointed, discouraged, or even disillusioned, remember this day, that when this day before God and before your friends and families, you have made the vow for a lifetime of relationship. The second one, no? is communication. You have to be transparent with each other as you continue to communicate with one another. James 1, 19 and 20 tells us this. Know this, my beloved. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. The passage is teaching us to always listen. To always hear what the other person is saying and even the nonverbal aspects of it. Practice the basic communication process. One cannot respond properly without listening intently. The third one and the most important one is the importance of Christ in your relationship. Do not ever remove Christ from the equation of your relationship. My prayer for you, for the two of you, is that your love for Christ and His Word will abound more and more even as you continue to grow, even as you continue to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless in your decisions and conduct in your marriage relationship. Allow God, allow the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ to remain as part of your relationship, as part of your love triangle. Him being on top. In such a figure, the closer you come to Christ, the closer you move towards each other. He should always be there and He should always be on top. Because God promises you that He will always be with you and that He will never forsake you. Faith, you focus on your responsibility to submit and respect Robert as an act of your obedience to God. And you, Robert, I want you to focus on fulfilling your responsibility to love and to lead faith as an act of obedience to God as well. Make it the core of your relationship to grow in your love together and knowledge of each other. If you continue to spend time with each other, as you continue to grow together, make sure that you take time to connect also with your ninongs and your ninangs and update them on what is God is doing in your relationship and also seek advice and prayers. Lastly, I want to give a higher purpose of this marriage. Remember God brought the two of you together not only for you to enjoy each other for the rest of your life, but to glorify God by setting an example for your family, relatives, and friends on how it is to be in a Christian marriage and to prove to society that marriage still works, especially when Christ is at the center of it. I, Robert Lester S. Claudio, take you, Lourdes Jane Faith Albis, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day on from this day on for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer or for poorer for richer or poorer in sickness and in health and sick, in sickness and health to love and to cherish to love and cherish till death do us part till death do us part according to God's holy law according to God's holy law i give my sincere vow I gave my sincere bow. I, I, Lourdes Jane Faith Albis, Lourdes Jane Faith Albis, take you, 
Thank you. Robert Lester Claudio. Robert Lester Claudio. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. I give you my sincere promise. I give you my sincere promise. I, Robert Lester S. Claudio, take you, Lourdes Jane Pate Albis, to be my wedded wife. With deepest joy, I receive you into my life, that we may be, that we may be one, as is Christ to His body, the Church. So I will be a love. So I will be to you a loving and faithful husband. I will perform my headship over you, even as Christ does over me. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest, my fullest devotion, my tenderest care, and I promise to buy you your milk tea whenever you want. I promise I will live first unto God, rather than others or even you. I promise that I will live, I will lead our lives into a life of faith and hope in Christ Jesus. I pledge to you my, I pledge to you my life as a loving and faithful husband. Baby Bear, I love you so much. Um, this is it, Honey Bear. Happy 11th anniversary to us. And we have been waiting for this. Last month was crazy and amusing. Today marks the deepest joy in my heart to be with you forever. A life of love that seems to grow stronger as we grow older and I know it will get better with God's loves love and blessings you know he is a good god because he blessed us with each other robert lester sasana claudio in the presence of god in front of all people who is dear to us i wanted to tell you how much i love you i have catch my breath to believe this is real that i am marrying my heart's desire my emotional sponge my selfless best friend. I am grateful to be married to the one that I prayed for. And I will spend the rest of my life thanking God for loving me enough to send His very best. Thank you for accepting me for who I was and who I am and who I will be when we have each other. I knew I loved you from the moment we met. And I have been helpless lost in your eyes ever since. It is the little things when I hear you laugh and I see you smile. Let us be the only people to get each other's joke. The desire of my heart to be one with you in true love. I believe that God ordained this love. We, we will be the vessel for Him to serve as a missional family. I thank God for His grace and able to fulfill these vows to you. I commit to find meaningful ways to cleave to you alone. To refuse to allow anyone or anything to damage our relationship and to implement God's plan for cleaving in our marriage. I pledge to be pure to you and to be faithful to you alone from this day forward until God's call us home. I commit to you that I will respond to God's call on my life to follow you as my head. I ask forgiveness for the times I struggled against you as my head and therefore not please the Lord. I hereby pledge to give you my respect and follow you as my head. I vow to follow you as you follow Christ. I vow to cover you in prayer. I commit to you that I will respond to God's call on my life to be your helper. I ask for your forgiveness for the times that I have failed you and not been the helper that God expects me to be. I hereby pledge to be the active helper who serves you with all my abilities and all my heart. I pledge my loyalty to you and hereby commit my, to become a kind wife you find easy to, and wonderful to love. I commit to submit to you by arranging all parts of my life underneath you as my head 
I'll underneath you as a head of our marriage. I pledge to submit to you in everything and as unto the Lord. I commit to submit to you in joyful attitude of genuine respect as my head, even though I may not always agree with you. I will fulfill God's calling on my life by being your submissive helper. I vow to wake up early to prepare your monstrous breakfasts. <laughs> I promise to be your gym partner or fitness partner goes, even I know I'm much stronger than you. <laughs> and most of all, I promise to try things even though I am sure I will not like them. Just because you say, try this, it's fun. Referring to Ragnarok. <laughs> No words can possibly express the vow that I give to you now. It is an overwhelming part of myself that I place in your part of myself, which I place in your care as we join together. This is my solemn pledge to you and to God. I have called you my boyfriend, my partner, and my significant other. Now I vow to love you as my lawful wedded husband. The wedding ring that you hold is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond that unites the two of you in love. In token and pledge of the vow, in token and in pledge of the vow, made between us, made between us, this ring I marry you, this ring I marry you, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. In token and pledge of the vow. In token and a pledge of the vow. That I made. That I made declare. Us, between us. Between us. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. The Bible is a precious gift of God and it is because it is the Word of God. And in His Word, the special revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed to us. The Word of God becomes the firm and sure foundation for your marriage and for the home that you will be building. Now, as husband, you give the Bible to your wife. You pledge that the Word of God will be your guide, your authority, and foundation of your marriage. Now we will go to the sand ceremony. The sand ceremony symbolizes the importance of the two of you within marriage and that the joining of your two lives into one. That the two formerly separated lives will now be as one, united and indivisible before God and before man. I'll do something with the sand. Eternal and loving Father, our Creator and Preserver of all things, the source of all that is good, the author of life, the giver and sustainer of the gift of marriage, bless this wonderful, wonderful couple that is in our midst, Robert and Faith, that they may be faithful to each other and keep the vow they made to each other. Bless them that they may remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Robert Lester S. Claudio, 
and Lourdes Jane Faith Alvis, you have consented to come together in marriage before God and your family and friends as witnesses, pledging your sincere vow to each other and by the authority vested in me by God's gracious calling to this ministry, acknowledged by Green Hills Christian Fellowship Ortiga Center and sanctioned by the government of the Republic of the Philippines, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up His countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. Now, Robert, without further ado, you may now kiss your bride. It is with much pleasure that I now introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Robert Lester and Lourdes Jane Faith Claudio. <laughs> 